be honest, when we lost the toss, I was a bit disappointed because I thought it'd be quite a big toss to win. With only on the experience of Australia last year getting 570 batting first, and I mean, if it hadn't have rained that last day, we'd have lost that test. I remember going a bit up and down. Um, but we got lucky with the, the overheads. It, it came quite cloudy and um, the overheads felt quite heavy. We got lucky with that, but we didn't get lucky with the skill we produce. I mean, obviously we practice that sort of thing, but to, to put the ball in the right area as many times as we did, I mean, it swung nicely. Um, but we challenged the front foot of in, the Indian batsman and, and took our catches. So we, we put ourselves in such a strong position after that first hour. Um, that created the 150 all out. First of all, with the Knicks carrying, um, it, it's a huge advantage because uh, if you if you get an error from a batsman, then uh, you just you catch it, he's out. So um, that was a, that was a big advantage for us. It swung really nicely. I think you could really tell a big difference when the sun came out, when Ashwin and Dhoni batted the sun was out, and when we batted this evening, um, the zip sort of just goes slightly out the wicket. But that first hour was a good, as good a bowling conditions as you get. It felt like every ball we could get a wicket. I mean, it, it happened so quickly for us, um, and all pretty decent balls as well. It's not like the Indian batsmen will be kicking themselves for playing poor shots. I mean, certainly Jimmy's two wickets they had to certainly had to play at. So um, yeah, I mean, it was it was good bowling, and as I said, eight for four. I've, I can't remember playing in a Test match where we've, we've not the top or, top order over like that. Um, but it, it looked really, it, well, it felt hard to get an LBW or a bold. There was that good amount of bounce. And we talked about that. I and mean, when you go to places like Perth and Old Trafford's one of those wickets that does bounce, you, you don't want to bowl too short. Um, don't get too encouraged by the bounce. You want to get it up there, challenge the front foot. And, and we did that really well. Um, I mean, the top order didn't really get time to settle, did they? They only faced sort of five or six balls each, um, which is always a danger period for any batsman. Any batsman can, can edge one early in their innings, um, which is why, it, from, from our point of view, challenging that front foot, getting it in such a good area was, was brilliant, um, because, as I say, any batsman's in danger. But the bouncer went through pretty well as well, so it's, it's, it's hard batting when you, can, you feel like you can get hit on the head, but also it's swinging and, um, and bouncing from full. So... At the end of the day, it turned out to be a fantastic toss to lose, although we'd have batted as well. But no, it's, I mean, it's fine uh, when I'm out on the field. Certainly much better when I bowl 12 overs rather than 33. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, today it's been fine. It's those four or five days in between test matches really help. It feels like a luxury compared to two or three that we're used to this summer. So, um, no, it's been fine today and um, the other parts of the body are perfectly fine. Are you, you going to need a lot? Yeah, it's been confirmed I'm going to have an op. The timing is, is not confirmed. Um, I think the fellow's flying over from Sweden at the end of the Oval Test match to have a look, and then um, it will either be after that Test match or after the one-day series, depending on what he suggests. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's got to a stage. It's sort of 18 months. In the past 18 months, I could have had an op at any stage, really, so it's got to the stage where it's, it needs to be done. I should be fine for that, yeah. I mean, it's, um, I think Roland Jones and Mika had it done at the end of last season, and it's about three months, three and a half months. So it's actually a really good opportunity for me to, to A, get the knee sorted, but use it as a real strength and conditioning period because, I'm going to say, 2015 schedule's been released. It looks... Um, pretty busy, so um, I'll have to be. Well, all the players will have to be as fit as they possibly can going into that that scheduling period. Well, I mean, we did really well today. I think it's um, we've actually had quite tough slip fielding conditions this summer. I mean, this is a great place to field slip because you can stand quite deep, and the Knicks carry. Um, when we were at Trent Bridge, Headingley was a bit similar. Um, Lords against Sri Lanka, you had to be so close for it to carry. But when a batsman sort of drove hard at it, it was on you before you could blink. So I think they were really tough um, places to field. And I think the slip catchers found it much better today um, because you had a bit more time. Um, you see when you, you field slip at Perth, you don't see many drop there because it hangs in the air and you get a chance to watch it all the way. It's when you're so close and the, the edge comes, it's, it's much harder. Yeah, I mean, um, the GS Bowl was a, a fantastic test match because... It was good to bat on first innings. I think all test matches should be. Uh, we say we got lucky with the overheads today. I think it's a good test match wicket, this one. Um, 
and it became harder to bat throughout the game. I think all test matches should do that. Um, if you bat well, you should be able to score runs, but if you bowl well and get the ball moving sideways, either reverse or conventional, you should be in the game. But the biggest thing is Nick's carrying. You look Australia, South Africa, these sort of places are, um, I certainly enjoy bowling at because, yes, they go through really flat periods, but when you've got a new ball in your hand and you get a mistake out of a batsman, they're generally punished for it. Um, there's nothing worse than having a new ball in your hand, someone nicks it, looks behind them and it's bounced three times for the first slip. It's no good for anyone, is it? Really good, yeah. I mean, obviously when it's swinging like that, he's got it on string going both ways. So, um, I mean, that's how bowling goes and partnerships go. Some days, sometimes it's your days, uh, other times it's not. Um, but he bowled, he bowled beautifully today. Um, a lot of his runs off his bowling came through the third man region, through little nicks and slices. So uh, he looks in a great rhythm. He's he's feeling feeling really fit, and um, I think he's benefiting from that bit of time off after Australia he had, where he had a chance to get really fit, and, and that's showing now. And yeah, I mean, obviously uh, he did it in 60 odd Test matches, so a fantastic record. <laughs> but um, always nice to to move up. To, uh, in that order, I think up to sixth now. There's quite a big gap now till Statham, I think, through 297. Um, Underwood. Is it Underwood, 297? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's great, but all eyes are on Jimmy at the minute with, what's it, nine or ten to go for Beefy. I mean, that's hugely exciting. You want to be around for, for when that occurs and for him to be the first bowler to get 500, that would be, uh, 400, that would be pretty special. Maybe 500. No, he's, he's, I mean, he's probably the world's best at batting with the tail, I think, because um, he finds his way to get his boundary and his wand. So, um, he's, I think from previous tours, he's had problems outside the off stump, so he's developed this sort of step across, and if it's not the right length, he just lets it hit him. So, he's taken a few bruises, but uh, he played beautifully today. He left really well. Um, he sort of showed how his, he wanted his team to play, really, and attacked when he needed to. He... Uh, I mean, it, I've, you don't see much more of an unlucky dismissal than that. I don't know how he managed to pick Chris Jordan out with, with all the leg side field up, but um, he played beautifully. And as I say, if, if we can bat like he did, really, we'll, we'll put ourselves in a strong position. If we get one batsman who gets 100, um, we'll be in a fantastic position in this test match.